With the Rampage preview out of the way, remember, it is a special start time tonight for Rampage. So if you're looking for Rampage at its normal start time, which is 10 o'clock Eastern time, 9, 9 p.m. Central, then you will not find it because it is on at 4 p.m. Eastern time, 3 Central tonight. But that is the previous video for this. We are talking about wrestling news and the wrestling news we where we start is that the rivalry between Dominic and Rey Mysterio increased in tension and increased in expectation because Dominic appeared at the Mysterio's household with Rhea Ripley for Thanksgiving and he beat down his father who seemingly is healing an ankle injury or a leg injury of some sort he beat down his father with a broom. Yes, a broom. But the intensity has increased because of the style, the uh, because of the presentation of the attack and the altercation in the Mysterio household. It is definitely raising the intensity of what has already been a very personal rivalry between father and son. Also tonight, also... Uh, recently reported it is a bit of old news but it's finally reaching the uh, seeing the light of day maybe more accurate to say as Alan Angels former Dark Order member Alan Angels has officially signed with Impact Wrestling as a member of Violent by Design the stable that has just recently shook things up I believe taking out uh, taking out their former leader which is their former leader being um, their former leader being Eric Young and changing the order uh, changing the order of the stable with EY stepping back and you know either the leadership being together or you know being shared or something to that effect but either way Alan Angels is one of the newest members alongside alongside big Khan, which is the former Conor O'Brien from WWE, or Conor from WWE, that, um, well, as other people have said, Alan Angels may finally get the opportunities that he's been looking for, because you are more than willing, more than likely going to get more opportunities in Impact Wrestling than you might be in AEW. Because of roster size, because the roster in AEW is a lot bigger than the roster in Impact Wrestling, so you'll get more of an opportunity in Impact Wrestling than you would in AEW. Also, I just want to mention, uh, uh, as an update from a couple of days ago, New Japan Pro Wrestling, Wrestle Kingdom 17, which we will not break down the card because there is no new there are no new matches announced for Wrestle Kingdom 17. Right now, the two big matches for Wrestle Kingdom 17 are Kenny Omega versus Will Ospreay is finally taking place, and it seems that we may also be getting something involving Carl Anderson and Doc Gallows at Wrestle Kingdom. So we might be seeing. Stardom, AEW, and WWE talent all compete on the same show. Which is going to be a first time for everything. It's going to perfectly, imbo perfectly embody the concept of a first time for everything. Sorry, I got the hiccups. But the main news from, from the top Japanese promotion is that Wrestle Kingdom 17 will again be a two-night spectacular but it will not be the two night spectacular that similar to the two night spectacular we see with Wrestlemania every year it will be a little bit different because Wrestle Kingdom 17's first night will take place on January the 4th when Wrestle Kingdom normally takes place but the other night will be January 21st and the other night will not take place at the Tokyo Dome, so January 4th will be at the Tokyo Dome like it normally is. And January 21st will be at the Yokohama Arena 
in Yokohama, Japan. So it will be a little bit different than in past years, but similar to last year, because last year it was also in the Yokohama Arena. And you gotta wonder if it's gonna be similar to last year, because last year, the second day of the event, or the second event, whatever you wanna call it, was more of a featured uh, co-promotion battle between all, uh, New Japan and Pro Wrestling Noah. So you gotta wonder if Noah's gonna be featured in the second, uh, the second show as prominently as they were last year, especially considering the fact that Pro Wrestling Noah has one of their top stars, that being the great Muda, going on a retirement tour next year. So it is a question of what's going to happen, including Muda, next year with Wrestling Ki or, you know, uh, what's going to happen with Wrestle Kingdom, because thus far only matches, the only matches that are set up for the event are the matches set for January 4th. But you have to figure that more matches will be announced as we get closer to not just Wrestle Kingdom, but 2023. Another note is that the Money in the Bank match is not definitively going to be moved to WrestleMania, like some may have thought. In my opinion, though, if you are getting rid of gimmick pay-per-views, then Money in the Bank does have to be removed from the calendar, because otherwise you can't say you're getting rid of all gimmick pay-per-views. And in my opinion, I think if you want to get rid of the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, or if you're not going to bring it back, then moving Money in the Bank to WrestleMania would be the perfect would be the perfect way to have a multi-person match on WrestleMania, and well, still have it make sense because you don't really need another Battle Royal if you don't want to have the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal once again, because the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, I believe has not been featured on WrestleMania since COVID. But either way, that's something that we have to you know, keep an eye on because it is not definitive that WrestleMania will house Money in the Bank because Money in the Bank is not officially off the pay-per-view calendar next year or the premium live event calendar next year. According to reports, there is also going to be a reported shakeup within the ranks of the Dark Order, which I think the Dark Order is in desperate need of because the, sh the faction has been showing some weakness and some tension over the last couple of months, and they can't just rely on the legacy of Brody Lee to keep the stable going. They need some direction. They need some change. They need something to give the stable a shot in the arm. Otherwise, maybe it might be time to just break them up. But speaking of a shot in the arm, this is probably the worst segue I can give. Next year is the 30-year anniversary of Monday Night Raw next January. So we're going to be kicking off 2023 with a heavy bit of news going into the 30th anniversary of Raw in the end of Jan uh, right alongside the Royal Rumble. But the report is Ric Flair will finally be returning to WWE after what, nearly two years away from the company. So you have to figure this is something that was going to happen when Triple H took over in inevitably, inevitably, but Ric Flair will be, uh, will be a guest, I'm assuming, at the 30th anniversary of Raw, and apparently will be there live at the Royal Rumble in San Antonio, which the Royal Rumble is going to be held at the Alamo Dome. And from what I'm understanding, the reported ticket sales for the Alamo Dome and the Royal Rumble have been very impressive for WWE, as they may be setting a record for the Alamo Dome. And, you know, you got to figure that with the momentum WWE's been having over, since Triple H took over, there's a reason for it. But this just also proves that the expectations for next year's Royal Rumble, especially after the underwhelming... Uh, the underwhelming... Well, the underwhelmingness of this year's Rumble. I don't know why I froze. But especially with the underwhelmingness of this year's Rumble, 
we got to move forward and figure that out as far as WWE, uh, WWE's got to move forward and figure that out as far as I'm concerned. And the fact of the matter is, that means that the bar is set very high for the first Royal Rumble that Triple H is running without Vince McMahon. Either way, though, I do appreciate everybody stopping in, or I do appreciate you clicking on the video and hearing my thoughts on wrestling, and I want to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section on anything I spoke about in this video or anything on your mind that is going or that is currently going on or you want to see happen in the world of professional wrestling. But if you don't want to leave a comment, you can also let me know you're enjoying this content by leaving a like and subscribing to the channel because any and all interactions are helpful and do very much and are very much appreciated. And until next, uh, uh, and until next time, before you go, do not forget to ding dong that notification bell to always know when a new video is up on the channel. And I will see you all again soon.